Sup gamers, I'm Blake Chaos and this is Blake is Trash of Fighting Games. Now today we're gonna be taking a look at Project L, or I guess it has a new name now, it's gonna be called 2XKO. I'm assuming that's because it's 2v2 battles and you're knocking each other out. That's a weird name, Project L would've been better I think. But regardless, I wanted to take a look at this because I haven't really dove deep into what Project L is. I know that it's from Riot and it's a 2v2 fighting game, but the art style is a little bit closer to more anime style fighting games, which are really fun for me. I really enjoyed DNF Duel playing that on Switch, as well as like playing Guilty Gear Strive. Those have been really fun, different introductions into fighting games than I was used to, and I've just had a blast playing those. So the other kind of addition here is that they're bringing in that like League of Legends roster, which I don't know a whole lot about. About. I think they have cool characters and really cool animations and music and that kind of stuff but I've never been a league player. But I do think it's really cool to see that coming into a fighting game and leveraging that same character set to maybe get people interested that have been playing various Riot games for years and playing League of Legends, interested in playing their same characters in a new game style. In this case, a 2v2 fighter. But I just wanted to hop in and take a look at the new trailer that they've dropped, you know, used just to announce that Project L is no longer a thing and now we are 2XKO, bro. But I just want to take a look, see what the gameplay looks like, and if it's something I might be interested in actually trying to play, definitely let me know in the comments if you're interested in Project L or that the now 2XKO. And if you plan on playing when it comes out in 2025, I think. But before I put this on screen, this is mentioned in the description. Kind of weird that he didn't put it on the video itself as an intro, but viewer discretion is advised. A small percentage of people may experience epileptic seizures when exposed to certain visual images, flashing lights, and or light patterns. So if that is you, or you think that is you, please do not watch the rest of this video. But now, let's take a look, see what Project L slash 2XKO is all about. Woo! I mean, the imagery looks beautiful. Doesn't surprise me being a Riot game. Okay, I recognize the, the Fox Lady. Oh, I love the animation style. That's going on. I mean, I'm again, no surprise coming from a Riot game. So it looks like you're just tagging in your teammate. I, I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit confused by the 2XKO. I didn't know if it was a two player fighting game or if it was you pick two characters that complement each other, kind of like the MK1 cameo system. Dude, the like variety of characters, it seems insane. Now, that makes sense given all the legends that they have. So I don't know, I mean, if we look at the actual gameplay, I love the really animated backgrounds. I think that's super cool. It looks like they put a lot of effort, not only into the like gameplay itself, but also where you're experiencing it and what the stages are like. I'm assuming maybe this has some, you know, nods to, to League or various Riot games as well. I think the gameplay looks a lot of fun. It does like give you that kind of like anime fighter vibe, uh, but really well executed in terms of like, the animations, the movement looks awesome. I don't know, it do, it does have like Soul Calibur vibes in some ways to me. It's a, it's a lot different, of course, but there is some really awesome just looks. I love the fact that they've got like a big diversity of characters to play. And of course that's based on all the legends they already have from various other IPs from Riot. Uh, but overall, like it looks a lot of fun. They did a really good job, of course, putting this trailer together. I know like a lot of people enjoyed the experience of playing it at Evo. Uh, I did take a look at this other video, and this video, like, I'm not gonna watch it and react to it here on stream. Ultimately, what I think is really cool about Riot and their approach to this game specifically is they're gonna continue to do kind of, like, Roadshow-esque things throughout the year for Project L slash 2XKO. That's gonna take me forever to get that out of my brain. Uh, but they're going to continue to take 2XKO to different events. They mentioned like some upcoming event in Japan where people are going to be able, be able to again play the game, give their feedback, really make impact. They did talk about sometime late 2024, and you can sign up for this at a link in the description for the other video for this one right here, a year in preview 2024. I'll probably put a link in the description as well of this video. Uh, but it looks like at the end of 2024, they're going to open it up for some at-home slash beta testing, which would be really sick. It is meant to release, I think, summer 2025. Uh, but they did mention that outside of just like big conventions, they are going to do some kind of like pop-up things across the world as well, where you can go in and play 2XKO. I keep wanting to call it Project L. It's 
making me insane. Ultimately, I think it looks fun based on my like love and experience with DNF Duel and Guilty Gear Strive. It looks like a cool direction to take the game. I think they have a, like a lot of rich history that they can work off of. And at least from my experience, I haven't played a whole lot of Riot games, but it seems like they do try to maintain and build up their games pretty well. I know like any other big gaming company, they've had their problems, they've made their mistakes, uh, but I'm kind of excited for it because they, they work with a lot of great musical artists, which I love in games. The animation, like I probably have said a thousand times now, looks dope. The roster is going to be pretty stacked, it seems like. I mean, based on the amount of legends they already have, which is probably why there's so much time being put into the game because of expectations of people's prior existing knowledge with various League of Legends games and stuff like that and wanting it to translate into this new fighting game setting. Uh, but I'm kind of stoked on it. The name's a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. Project L had like all this mystique, but I know that's like a more of a code name uh, than an actual game name. 2XKO is what it is. It does look fun. I'm excited for it. I hope we get to game test it at home like they said in 2024. That would be a lot of fun to just like do on stream or do videos about here. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you're excited about 2XKO. <laughs> and as always, thank you for watching. And remember, the only way forward is to never quit.